Who were the Western hunter-gatherers, what did it actually look like, and how common were blue and green eyes amongst them? In one of my last videos on the origin and the reason for blue eyes, I note the Western hunter-gatherers did have lighter eyes, and they serve as an extremely early example of lighter eyes being very common in European populations, a trend that has continued up until today. In this video, however, I want to delve more into the Western hunter-gatherers, who were they, what did they look like, and how common were lighter eyes, both blue and green eyes, amongst them. Now, Western hunter-gatherers were one of three main groups in ancient Europe following the last ice age, along with Scandinavian hunter-gatherers and Eastern hunter-gatherers. Western hunter-gatherers are generally grouped as people who lived in modern Britain and Ireland in the west, to the Carpathian Mountains in the east that run through the likes of Romania and Slovakia. They are thought to have formed into an archaeological group around 14,000 years ago during the late glacial interstadial, and they were around until around 5,000 years ago. The late glacial interstadial was a period during the last ice age defined by abrupt warming in the northern hemisphere and a corresponding cooling in the southern hemisphere, as well as a period of major ice sheet collapse and corresponding sea level rise known as meltwater pulse 1A. It represented the first pronounced warming since the end of the last glacial maximum, a period where ice was at its greatest extent between somewhere around 26,000 years ago and 20,000 years ago, with ice sheets covering most of northern North America and northern Europe amongst other regions of the globe. This is a map of what Britain and Ireland looked like during the last glacial maximum, with large parts of the landmass under thick sheets of ice. Thus, this period of warming during the late glacial interstadial period meant that hunter-gatherers moved into parts of northern Europe that were previously uninhabitable for large parts of the Ice Age. I should note that there was a brief return to glacial conditions during the Younger Dryas period, a period which lasted from around 12,900 years ago to about 11,700 years ago. But after this, the, the globe started warming for good and were eventually out of the Ice Age for good. So this is all to say that this is the context in which the Western hunter-gatherers lived. Quite a challenging and difficult time, I'm sure, for many people. But what did Western hunter-gatherers actually look like? Well, this is Cheddar Man. He is a hunter-gatherer who lived around 10,000 years ago and was found in a cave in Somerset, England in the early 20th century. He is one of the oldest, almost complete skeletons ever found in Britain. Now, this is a facial reconstruction of what Cheddar Man may have looked like using DNA analysis that the National History Museum was involved with. Before we move on to discussing eye colour, I should note that this facial reconstruction was done for a Channel 4 TV programme in 2018, and it sparked some controversy at the time because of how dark his skin pigmentation was depicted as, as some felt that this wasn't an accurate depiction of what he would have actually looked like, and it was more of a publicity stunt for the TV programme. Some of the DNA results indicated that Cheddar Man's skin pigmentation was most likely in one of the two most highly pigmented of five categories, dark or dark to black, and probably not in the lightest categories. Yet some researchers involved in the study did later clarify that they couldn't be sure what his skin pigmentation was. This is an earlier model of the Cheddar Man done by researchers from the University of Manchester in 1998, but this reconstruction was done before DNA testing was available. The indication that Western hunter-gatherers had a darker skin pigmentation than many modern Europeans is not an isolated case, however. A 2014 study that looked at a male hunter-gatherer from Iberia who lived around 5000 BC and indicated that he probably had a dark skin pigmentation and dark brown hair. There probably was some variation in skin pigmentation amongst Western hunter-gatherers, however. A more recent study that looked at 10 Western hunter-gatherers from modern-day France found some diversity during the late Mesolithic in France. They observed that while most individuals carried the dark skin and blue eyes characteristic of Western hunter-gatherers, two of the individuals out of 10 likely had pale to intermediate skin pigmentation. Now, considering that most of Northern Europe was pretty much uninhabitable during large parts of the last ice age, it would make sense that Western hunter-gatherers had a darker skin pigmentation than many modern European populations, such as myself, that lives in Scotland today. But obviously, during the last glacial maximum, as we saw in the, the previous map that showed uh, Britain and Ireland during the last glacial maximum, Scotland was pretty much uninhabitable for most of that period. So it would make sense from an evolutionary perspective that if hunter-gatherers had to live further south during the last glacial period, the last glacial maximum, that they had a darker skin pigmentation than many modern Europeans today. The main evolutionary theory as to why lighter skin developed in the first place is because it is better at making vitamin D from sunlight. 
However, others argue it's purely a genetic reason, and it was simply the result of a lighter pigmented populations migrating into Europe from western Anatolia and the Pontic Caspian steppe. Perhaps it's a combination of the two. From an evolutionary perspective, it would make sense that western hunter-gatherers obviously had to live further south during large parts of the last ice age. It would therefore make sense that they probably had a, a darker pigmentation, skin pigmentation, than many, many modern European populations. What is more clear, however, is that many western hunter-gatherers had lighter eyes, both blue eyes and green eyes, as well as probably dark brown hair. Cheddarman, for instance, had blue eyes, is thought to have had blue eyes, and the hunter-gatherer from Iberia probably also had lighter eyes, as the study from Iberia noted. Further examination revealed that this individual carried the RS129-13832C, SMP, and the associated homozygous haplotype spanning the Hersey 2 Oka 2 locus that is strongly associated with blue eye colour. This study then added, Our results indicate that the adaptive spread of light skin pigmentation alleles was not complete in some European populations by the Mesolithic, and that the spread of alleles associated with light blue eye colour may have preceded changes in skin pigmentation. So what is beginning to emerge is a picture of what Western hunter-gatherers actually look like. They probably tell us the grey had lighter eyes, either blue or green, dark brown hair, and a darker skin pigmentation than many Europeans today. Now I know what some of you may be saying though, it's quite a small sample size what we have looked at so far, only essentially two hunter-gatherers. Well a study from 2023 looked at a much larger sample size of 356 ancient hunter-gatherer genomes from Europe, spanning between 35,000 and 5,000 years ago. They again found evidence that western hunter-gatherers tended to have lighter eyes, either blue or green, and darker skin which was the opposite to how eastern hunter-gatherers looked, as they write. On the basis of the genetic variation of present-day Europeans, this could imply phenotypic differences between post-14,000 year old hunter-gatherer populations across Europe. With individuals in the Obercaso cluster, which this study calls western hunter-gatherers, possibly exhibiting darker skin and lighter eyes, and individuals in the Sidokino cluster, which this study calls eastern hunter-gatherers, possibly lighter skin and darker eye colour. As far as how common lighter eyes were amongst western hunter-gatherers, as well as other related hunter-gatherer groups, it seems that they were probably pretty common, as the allele associated with lighter eyes was above 90% in many cases, as this study noted. For the SMP associated with light eye colour, Hair C2 Oka 2, RS129 Individuals from the Obercaso cluster, which again are Western hunter gatherers in this study, the Baltic hunter gatherers and Scandinavian hunter gatherer groups show high frequencies of this derived allele, above 90%, which is responsible for green or blue eye phenotype. Whereas Seidel Kino Cluster, Ukraine Hunter Gatherer, and Iron Gates Hunter Gatherer groups show low occurrence of this allele, between 10 and 25%. So it seems that blue and green eyes were pretty common amongst Western hunter gatherers, and lighter eyes seem to have developed before lighter skin in parts of Western and Central Europe. So this is all to say that from the information we have at this moment, it seems western hunter-gatherers largely had, although there was some variation amongst the population, lighter eyes, either blue or green, dark brown hair, and a darker skin pigmentation than many modern Europeans. And they formed a genetic bedrock in many parts of Europe, and many Europeans still trace a percentage of their ancestry back to them. They soon mixed and were replaced in many instances by future waves of migration that swept across Europe who probably introduced genetics associated with lighter skin pigmentation as well. Early European farmers from Anatolia soon entered Europe, before massive migrations of western steppe herders from the Pontic Caspian steppe, connected to the Yamnaya culture that I've previously made videos on, swept across Europe as well. Yet how common are blue eyes today and what was their origin? To find out, please click here. Thanks for watching, please subscribe and hit the bell, let me know your thoughts in the comments below, and I'll see you next time.